Number six, a manipulator will blame you, point out your mistakes and ignore your feelings. And uh, this is very important. Uh, a lot of times we don't notice this type of manipulation. So all people make mistakes. And when we make mistakes, we feel bad. So when we feel bad, our emotions are already low. And for manipulator, it's very easy to come into the picture and make us do whatever they want. Here, you should understand that we all make mistakes and this is how we learn and this is how we grow. We grow from our own mistakes. So when your friend or your co-worker or your family member, your husband, your wife hears about your mistake, uh, usually in a healthy relationship, uh, they will try to encourage you. They will try to support you. They will try to make you feel better. But this is not the case with a manipulator. Uh, the best way to control a person is to use emotions. We already mm, discussed it. So uh, another best way to control uh, a person is to use superiority. And manipulator will try to put you down. Instead of supporting you, he will point out on your mistake and he will exaggerate it as well. Instead of uh, supporting you in this difficult situation, he will ignore your feelings and you will feel even worse. Uh, then the next, th this manipulation has two steps. The first step, he will make you feel worse then he will put himself above you and becomes a god or a higher power. And when he brings himself up, he will switch, like immediately he will switch into a soft, kind, understanding mode. And he will do it quickly. So at, at this, like at the first moment, this person is kind of uh, pointing out your mistakes, he's blaming you, he can say, how could you do this? Oh my God, this is so stupid. Like, why did you even say this? Why did you do this? And then it's like, okay, 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 let's figure out what we can do in this situation. Let me help you. So a manipulator will switch quickly and becomes loving, caring person. And he will offer you his support, his understanding, but there is always a but with a manipulator. Uh, but in order for him to give you his support, in order for him to help you, you should follow his rules. So he will say, okay, uh, let's come down. Let's figure, let me help you. Uh, uh, let me, like you already did a lot. So you definitely don't know what to do. So let me tell you what you should do. Let's think about it. And he will tell you exactly what he wants you to do. Uh, so this way, a manipulator creates a dependent relationship. And uh, a woman can become dependent on her husband's decision. A child, an adult child, can become dependent on his parents' opinion. And I have such friends, they're, they're not young kids anymore, but they depend on their parents' opinion, on their parents' approval. A grown-up person can become dependent on his friend's approval. A woman can always call her friend in order to get her approval before she does something. And a healthy relationship uh, are when people, both people, have an equal position, even if they have different opinion. Remember, we spoke about assertive behavior, ability to express your own feelings, opinions, desires uh, openly and honestly, while respecting opinion, desires, uh, rules, uh, ideas of other person. So this is healthy relationship. Healthy relationship is when two people are equal and even if they have different opinions. So both opinions are important. And if one person cannot make a decision without the approval of the other person, then I recommend you to look closer. It might be a dependent relationship. Uh, the longer you stay in those relationships, the harder it will be to recover, the more toxic they will become. So this relationship is uh, detrimental 
to your self-esteem and to your self-confidence. A manipulator will always enable his victim. He has power over you. And the more power he has over you, the easier it for him to use you. So if what I am saying is resonate with you, uh, please let me know in chat. You can ask your questions uh, in chat right now. You can ask them under the video if you're gonna watch this webinar later. But if uh, what uh, I'm saying is resonates with you, and even if you need my help to understand your situation, even if you're not sure if your relationship uh, are dependent or toxic or not, because when you are in this manipulation game, it's very hard sometimes to realize that this is a dependent relationship. So I'm here to help you. Please uh, don't uh, hesitate to contact me. And all the links is below this video. If you need my help, let me know. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next point. 